What a beautiful day. What an amazing time to record another video. So I'm back with, uh, is it the fourth one? I think it is number four. Yeah, the fourth PT weekly update from English with Ryan. So let's go and take a look at the questions that the students have reported recently. And uh, hopefully you will get these in your exam. Let's get us started with read aloud questions. Digital art can be computer generated, scanned or drawn using a tablet and a mouse. Thanks to improvements in digital technology, it is possible to download video onto computers, allowing artists to manipulate the images they had filmed with a video camera. This gives artists a creative freedom, allowing them to cut and paste within moving images to create visual collages. Domestic cats that are largely indoor hunt less than outdoor cats because they don't have access to mice. In the wild, feral kittens are taught how to kill prey by their mothers. Domestic cats often fail to learn this skill, which is why you will see them playing with anything they catch or they may bring the mouse to you to kill. Coffee is a beloved beverage known for its ability to fine-tune your focus and boost your energy levels. In fact, many people depend on their daily cup of coffee when they wake up to get their day started on the right foot. In addition to its energizing effects, coffee has been linked to a long list of potential health benefits, giving you more reasons to get brewing. And the last question of read aloud. The body uses glucose as its main source of energy. Glucose comes from foods that contain carbohydrates, which is released and absorbed into the bloodstream after food is digested. The glucose in the bloodstream needs to move into body tissue so that cells can use it for energy. Excess glucose is also stored in the liver or converted to fat. Now let's listen to repeat sentence questions. The market is thirsty for a fresh generation of skilled people. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Jane took her savings out of the bank and bought a bicycle. The swimming pool is drained and cleaned every winter. He suffered a serious injury that forced him to give up work. The Japanese recycle more than half of their waste paper each year. She gave up her job to devote herself entirely to the art. The contemporary literature works have been broadened and extended through interpretation. A very basic feature of computing is counting and calculating. He could not feel motivated when studying mathematics. Tom has been suspended from school for his bad conduct. The simplest type of journal is called a general journal. He suffered multiple fractures in a motorcycle accident. The chairman is persuading the committee to agree with his opinion. All right, time for describe image. Well, this one is about water cycle. As you can see, you have condensation, evaporation from oceans, lakes, and streams, transpiration from plants, per precipitation, groundwater, and surface runoff. For those of you who are not familiar with describe image templates or how you can get the full score without even understanding the image, just send me a message and I'll help you out. Let's take a look at this one now. This is about historical average of annual energy subsidies, a century of federal support. So you have uh, ONG 1918 to 2009, nuclear 1947 to 1999, biofuels and renewables. And you can see the numbers as well. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is about combined US average sales tax rate. And uh, you can see the source you can see the years from 2012 to 2020 and you can see the different percentages. Beautiful. How about this one? So it's about the tropical storm and hurricane frequency, Atlantic region, and you have tropical storms, hurricanes and both in total. And then you have the monthly average and you have the months and that's it. How about this one? Well, this is the beautiful Big Ben and uh, the words that you can use are big ben uh big clock old building historical building um the river uh a bridge um architecture design old city all of these are the words that you can use as your content 
So when it comes to retail lecture questions, these topics recently appeared in the exam, cancer cells, the new archaeology paradigm, social media, internet privacy, art and artist, business and space repetition. If you don't have access to the audio files uh, of these topics, just send me a message and I will uh, make sure that you know how to find them. Let's move to answer short question. So here we go. What is the connecting part between two bones? Joint. What substance would farmers add to the soil in order to make plants grow better? That's fertilizer. What do we call the thing that is used to attract fish so they can be caught? We can say lure or bait. Concerning airplanes, what is the opposite of to take off? The opposite of to take off is land or landing. What is the company that provides flight services? Airline, or you can even say travel agency because some of them do that. Where can you buy medicines and drugs? Pharmacy or drugstore? Which part of a train produces the power that pulls the train? That's locomotive. What is the antonym of the word internal? So that's external. And finally, what do we call the electronic device you use for making mathematical calculations? That's a calculator. You can even use your phone. I have chosen to summarize written text questions for you this week. So the first one is about the anti-inflammatory benefits of eating foods. You can see all the beautiful key points highlighted in green, like the environment, helping your grocery bill, uh, overall diet, eating patterns, combinations, the right, right mix of elements, the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, and so on. You can just pause the video and look at these uh, for yourself. Now, let's go to the next one. This is a very new question. Uh, it's called crown shyness. Crown shyness, uh, also canopy disengagement or intercrown spacing. Uh, so all of these can actually be the topic, but I've, t I've put the other two as the key points. So you can see tree species, the crowns of fully stuck trees, not touching each other, forming a canopy with channel life gaps and so on. Just pause the video and take a look at the key points. Let's go to the essay question now. There are four questions that have recently appeared in the exam. Let's go and talk about them. With the advancement of science and technology, it is possible to clone human beings. Is human cloning necessary for human development? Support your point of view with examples. So if you say cloning is a good thing, you should say why, like saving people, uh, saving very smart people, I don't know, influential people. Um, you can talk about um, helping people getting out of diseases probably by cloning parts of the body, this and that. And if you say no, cloning is unethical, you should say why it is so. Some people like to cook at home, others prefer to eat at restaurants. Which one do you think is the better option? Support your answer with specific reasons and provide personal examples if applicable. So um, if you say cooking at home is the better option, you can say it's healthy, uh, it uh, costs less, and uh, you can actually have fun preparing the food with your family if you want to. And there are other, other reasons as well. You can just choose the ingredients yourself. And if you say going out to restaurants, well, you save a lot of time and uh, you don't have to cook, you will not get tired. And uh, what else? You can just sit out with your friends without worrying about, uh, I don't know, washing the dishes. So you have more time to spend with your friends. Nowadays, with the rapid development of technology, it is easy for people to prepare food. Has it improved the people's quality of life? Discuss it with your own experience. Well, I personally believe that it has not really helped. Like we have microwaves, but it's not a positive development. Why? Because of the quality, because of uh, health issues. Well, it's up to you how you want to uh, really um, support your viewpoint. If you say it is a good idea, well, you can say it is cheaper, it is faster, it saves time, it saves money, and uh, that's it. Finally, the ocean contains abundant resources and plays an important role in human development, but it is also necessary to protect the marine environment. Should the exploitation of ocean resources be strengthened or restricted? 
Well, what do you think? Do you think ocean or like different oceans or ocean life should be protected? Why? And if you think no, we must take anything that we can, why? I have chosen three reading and writing fill in the blanks questions. This is the first one. Number and form are the essence of our world. Now you can see from the beats of our hearts, beats, that's like the beating of your heart. The second one is introducing geniuses from this person to that person. So genius is a super smart person. And uh, this inspiring book, inspiring is something that inspires you. And finally, it's rich patterns, brilliantly clear. So rich patterns of mathematics, for example. Dams are huge man-made structures. So it's talking about dams. Now let's go to uh, the options. The first one is uh, they are built to restrict and control the flow of water. That makes sense. Restrict is to limit throughout history. Uh, throughout means throughout the course of something like um, you can say just over a period of time. So throughout means over uh, all of that period. Uh, the next one is uh, however. You use however when there is uh, some kind of contrast. And finally, many people's homes are knocked down to make space for the dam. Knocked down is to destroy. And the last question of reading and writing fill in the blanks is about genetic mutations. So genetic mutations arise that offer a survival edge. To arise means to come into existence, to emerge, to appear. Uh, the next one is uh, complex traits to evolve. Evolve is to uh, develop over time uh, in order to like serve a purpose, to get better. Uh, the genomic revolution has allowed biologists to see the natural selection process in action. Allow means to let someone do something, but after allow, you have to, allowed biologists to. And the last one is uh, specific mutations across generations of people. Across means um, like covering different generations. Reorder paragraph, let's see. So vision and echolocation have many features in common. Echolocation is using um, eco to find where you are and bats mostly do it. And if you pause the video, you can see why this is the correct order. I have also chosen three reading for the blanks questions for you. Computer scientists had an exciting year of breakthroughs in set theory topology and artificial intelligence. So breakthroughs are huge successes in an area or a field of study. In addition to preserving fading knowledge and revisiting old questions. Well, to fade means to die out. And um, well, knowledge dies out if you don't preserve it. Let's go to the next one. Some promising avenues of exploration. Avenue uh, well, it, 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 that's right, it means street, but here it means uh, the room for something, the uh, possibility of doing something, the different ways of doing something. And the last one is for future generations. Well, that's uh, as clear as the daylight. Now, the next question is, um, two weeks before Christmas in 1978, what happened? Well, uh, that cargo ship encountered a fierce storm. Fierce means super violent and uh, strong and powerful and angry. The forecasted waves and winds should have posed no threat. Forecasted means something that was predicted and threat is uh, harm. And the last one is a handful of flotation devices. So you can Google flotation devices and you will see what kinds of devices they are. All right, and the last one in reading fill in the blanks is, in 2018, a momentous lightning bolt flashed above a network of radio telescopes in the Netherlands. So flash, you can even just see that, like it flashes, it creates uh, this bright light. The telescope's detailed recordings, detailed means full of details, it's an adjective. Uh, the next one is reveal something no one has seen before. So reveal is to show. And the last one is 
triggers. Trigger means to cause something. Let's go to summarize spoken text. Uh, so these are the topics, birth rate, success sequence, internet privacy, pyramid scheme, children's online safety and nutritional guidelines. Beautiful. Now let's listen to write from dictation questions. Students must register for shared accommodation at least two months in advance. Study of philosophy can assist learners in novel ways of thinking. Some of the children at our school have specific learning difficulties. Many of these exchanges followed a predictable pattern. The tests are designed by scientists to detect the diseases early. These topics have been discussed by different seminar groups. They came here in search of new markets for their products. The doctor had told his daughter to take vitamins regularly. There is a fire exit on each floor of the building. Her work is showing some signs of a slight improvement. You need to identify the root problems if you really want to make a change. So how was it? Hopefully uh, you were able to answer a lot of these questions. Well, do I even have to ask? If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do it now and uh, make sure you ring the bell icon so if I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to notice and you will not miss any of those. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week, next Tuesday with another PT Weekly update.